Hey everyone, Sam McKay here from Enterprise DNA. Now, we're going to get back to some real basics here in this particular video, and I'm going to talk to you about probably the most essential table that you will need to create in almost every model that you develop, okay? And I want to show you how you can build it from scratch, and then at the end I'm just going to tell you a few different ways that you can maybe scale your efforts here as well. Now, we've got to always create a date table, okay? I still, even to this day, get questions about, do I need to create a date table in my model when I've already got a date in my fact table, for example? And the answer is yes, you always want to create a date table because it is op all of your time intelligence functions uh, are optimized for a date table, and it just makes your entire model so much easier, okay? Now, there is one, that I'm going to show you basically the fastest way to now create a date table. Now, over over the years, I've created a few videos like this, but but now we, uh, you know, we've got to a point where I can show you how to create the most comprehensive date table that you will ever need and create it really, really quickly. Okay, so the first thing you got to do is go to transform data. Okay, then what you want to do is you want to come to new source and you want to go blank query because what we're going to do is we're going to input some code in here that we can easily access through Enterprise DNA's forum to create the date table. Okay, so I've got this query up here. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to Enterprise DNA's forum, so forum.enterprisedna.co. Okay, there's so much information here, so much content um, to review over time, especially around our challenges, etc. But what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to scroll down and I'm going to find M code showcase. Okay, so I'm going to click on that. And when you click on M code showcase, you'll see extended date table. And you see this is one of the most viewed pieces of content on our entire website, to be honest, uh, and because it is, is referred to all the time. And what you want to do is click on here, and then you'll see this code from Melissa, one of our enterprise DNA experts. And Melissa is one of the best practitioners of the Power Query Editor uh, and M code in the world easily. And she's created uh, this comprehensive piece of code that you can input to create a date table. Okay, so literally all you need to do is come here and copy, come back into your model, and then on this query, go to you want to click on Advanced Editor up here. Okay, so click on Advanced Editor, paste all of that data over what was there in the first place, then go Done. Okay. And then what you'll have here is some parameters that you can enter. So this is building out the size of the date table. So I'm going to go 1st of the 1st, say 2018, and then I'm going to go 31st of the 12th, 2022. My financial year start month. So let's just start it, you know, for, in uh, on, the four, on the fourth month. So that is April. Okay. You can also add a holidays um, column here, which is which has been covered in a in another video um, created by by Melissa herself uh, on the Enterprise DNA um, uh, in, in Enterprise DNA's content, and so um, also I've got here a workday start number. Okay, so say for instance I want to start the workday on uh, uh, week or oh, it might be weekday, so it might, might start at three. We'll see. We'll see what that comes out at. You see down here. Um, that you have a bit of detail about what you can enter. So then I'm going to go invoke. Okay. So you know this is taking a few minutes because I'm talking my way through it, but literally this should not take you long. Okay. Then what you want to do is you know once you know what you're doing, it takes you about 20 seconds. Then you want to change the name of this table to dates, and then probably change this one to dates query. You've got to you've got to make sure you you maintain this query here, um, because what happens is that this particular date table references it. In, in in what it is created here right and so this also so this is all the, this is all the m code that goes in behind the actual table because all of the comprehensive code is in the query itself in the function okay and so you see here that now up here we have all of the details around um, this particular date table and remember that with this particular date table say you wanted to change it just slightly well all you need to do is like change the numbers in and around here it doesn't actually that take that much to adjust right it's very very easy so this here is a date this is the type of date table that you need this to be uh, to be fair this is a really comprehensive one and maybe you don't need all of these columns and that's absolutely fine 
It's always good though to start from a comprehensive table like this that has fiscal years, financial years, um, all of these supporting columns to sort like your month and year, your quarter and year, etc. Uh, and then we've got um, day type, offset dates, so on and so forth. And all, um, some of these supporting columns as well. Okay. And so what you can do, this now is obviously the start would be the st a good starting point, And then you can bring in your other data in here. And then literally all you need to do generally is, is connect up this particular date column. This becomes sort of your, your primary key here to the date column in your fact table. Okay. What you can also do, so I'm just going to save this, right? So I'm going to go close and apply, and then I'm going to come back to my model. Okay. This is just a totally blank uh, report that I've opened up. What you can also do, and I do this as well, say you want to save yourself 30 seconds from having to, to do that every time. I mean, what you could also do is save this particular file as a template. Okay. So what I can do is I can come up here and I can go save, um, save as, right, save as. And you'll see here that I can actually save well, you could actually save it just as a PBIX file or and then go and jump and grab that as your sort of template. But you can also save it as a template file that can be used um, again, like as uh, all, all of the all of this would be embedded. All of that query editor work would be embedded before you even start. OK. And, you know, that's just another way that you can sort of scale your efforts and and limit how much work you have to redo all of the time. OK. So that's all I wanted to cover. This is, uh, the, you know, this is this is literally the easiest way to create a date table, the fastest way, the most comprehensive way. I mean, you do not want to be writing formulas to create a date table. You want to just be using this code and um, implementing a date, this comprehensive date table in your model, and then you can very quickly start creating some really high quality time intelligence work, and you know, use all of these different columns as different filters and slices, etc., over your data. Okay. Good luck with this one. Please use this um, if, if you are not. It just makes a huge difference to you know so many aspects of your um, report development. Okay, take it. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the content covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us, and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website, plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best, take care.